Hey guys, welcome to the Tire Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is DC Multiverse on Mass Batman from the Batman movie. So really cool, really blessed fan state. We got a nice clear review of it in box. We got the logo, we got the names on the sides, and uh, then we have the artwork there. I actually missed out on this when it first released, but I found one day at Walmart, so super happy. We got the trading card, the bio, and then, you know, pretty much the same thing we've seen before. And then here we have Batman out of box, and we also have the display stand. Now, a lot of people are controversial on the head. Some people think it looks like him, some people think it don't. I don't think it looks exactly like him, but I can see where McFarlane tried. I do like the details on the eyes, and I think the hair looks really cool. Um, you know, I definitely think they tried. Um, and yeah, I think they I think they did a pretty good job with it for a first attempt. I also love that the back of this has the mask pulled down, like he's actually pulled the mask down. This is the only thing different on this figure than the original, but I just think that's a really cool detail and one they didn't have to include. Um, but yeah, overall, the details on this are the same as the other figure, and you know, that's a great Batman figure in general, so I don't mind having two of them, with one with, like, you know, slightly different still. Like I said, I really like that one, so I don't mind picking up a second one, and yeah, it just looks great, you know, you got the cape and everything going on there, and um, for accessories, you know, aside from the base and the trading card, you do get a battering. Now, this is the only way to get a McFarlane-inspired battering, but if you do want a battering, I do recommend you pick up one of the Spin Master Batmans for, like, $8. Uh, one of them has, like, a multi-pack of batterings, but anyways, um, it's still looks really good and it fits good in hand and also the movie batman the one with the mask on cam wear and here's a comparison between two uh, just so you can see how they look and as for articulation you got a 360 at the head and it turns but it's a little bit hindered due to that uh, mask piece you got a 360 arm swing out the shoulder um, you have double joint elbows and they 360 at the wrist then you also have that torso joint the legs forwards backwards and outwards you have a double jointed knee which is nice and then the feet move up and down and go side to side and there's also toe articulation so in terms of articulation, pretty good. I'm not sure this is an exact must-have for the collection if you already have the other, but overall, I like it.